At the Dragon Pit, Alicent greets Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, who has just returned from a ride on her dragon Cyrax. Rhaenyra asks her if she would like to accompany her on Dragonback sometime, but she politely declines. Alicent travels with the princess back to the Red Keep by carriage. Alicent and Rhaenyra pay a visit to a heavily pregnant Queen Emma in her chambers. Later that day Alicent tries to go over a history book with Rhaenyra in the Godswood of the Red Keep but at first she isn't interested, until Alicent brings up the approaching birth of King Viserys and Queen Emma's child which she states could overshadow her and displace the princess's position in the line of succession, if it's a boy. Alicent is shocked when Rhaenyra rips a page from the book, warning the princess that Septa Marlowe won't be happy. Rhaenyra responds with profanity and states she doesn't care about the scepter, then they both laugh about it as they walk arm in arm. Alicent sits beside the princess in the royal box at the heirs' tournament. She informs Rhaenyra about House Cole of the Stormlands and she whispers to Rhaenyra about court gossip involving the betrothal of Lady Eleanor Stokeworth and a young Massey squire, alleging that Eleanor is already with child. Alicent is anxious when Prince Demon Targaryen chooses her eldest brother, Sir Gwain Hightower, as his first opponent in the joust, biting her fingernails until Rhaenyra grabs her hand reassuringly. She is frightened, putting her hand to her mouth, when Demon trips Gwain's horse, throwing him from the saddle and injuring his face. Demon then asks Alicent for her favor, to which she obliges. She looks to her father, Sir Otto, before placing a laurel wreath on Demon's lance. She is later amazed to discover that Sir Kristen Cole is Dornish. Alicent attends the funeral of Queen Emma and Prince Balon as they are cremated by Cyrax's flames. Alicent is later summoned to the Tower of the Hand by her father. She is embraced by Otto and is asked about how Rhaenyra is coping with her mother and brother's deaths, then is told to go and offer her condolences to the grieving king in his chambers, being told to stop biting her fingernails and to wear one of her mother's dresses. Alicent is escorted into King Viserys's chambers by the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, Sir Ryan Redwan. She brings her favorite history book with her as the king is passionate about the subject, for which Viserys thanks her. After a moment's silence she brings up her own mother's death stating that people only spoke to her in riddles, wishing someone had only said sorry to her for what had happened. She offers her condolences to the king for what happened to his wife and son. Alicent and her father are in attendance at the ceremony naming Rhaenyra as Princess of Dragonstone and heir to the Iron Throne. At her father's urging, Alicent becomes closer to the king, and spends time with him privately. The king chooses Alicent for his wife. They marry and Alicent soon gives birth to her first son, Prince Aegon. Three years later, Alicent celebrates Aegon's second name day with her family and she is pregnant again. Following Demon and Rhaenyra's nighttime escapade into the streets of King's Landa, Sir Otto reports to King Viserys that the two were seen coupling together in a brothel. Alicent overhears the exchange and confronts Rhaenyra in the Godswood. Rhaenyra vehemently denies the story, but Alicent is still visibly shaken. This article is a stub. An article too short to provide more than rudimentary information about a subject. You can help the Game of Thrones wiki by expanding it.